Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. Today is September 21st. And today we're going to be talking about the fact that nobody's perfect. Okay. Today's topic comes out of James 2 and 10. The morning version is the ESV version, and it reads, Whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become accountable for all of it. Oh, that's heavy. The text says, <clears throat> let's say you have a teenage daughter and you're leaving her home alone. You trust her, but just so there are no misunderstandings. You leave her a list of no-nos, no parties, no boys in the house, no announcing on social media that you're home alone. Let's say she invites her boyfriend over. Even though she followed most of your instructions, she still broke the rules. Bring on the consequences. God's law is no different. And that is why we need Jesus. Spend some time thinking, thanking him for his incredible, undeserved gift of grace. The prayer for the, this morning is, thank you, Jesus, for gifting me with, the immeasurable, with immeasurable grace. Let me walk in freedom today. The evening version of James 2 and 10 is the N-A-S as in Sam, B as in boy version. And it reads, whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles in one point, he has become guilty of all. Did you mean to command? I'm sorry. The text says, did you mess up a command today? We've broken the rules. Bring on the consequences or admit what he already knows that we aren't perfect. While we may never kill or steal or eat the wrong thing or on the wrong day, or we entirely likely we are entirely likely to covet to take the easy way out to gossip because of grace we get to choose follow all the rules or accept his forgiveness in advance Ooh, let me read it again because of grace we get to choose follow all the rules or accept his forgiveness in advance the prayer for the evening is lord i know i cannot be perfect so I accept your forgiveness. Help me to rely more on your Holy Spirit. The question for ourselves today, September 21st is, what do you choose? Your ability to keep every command or God's grace? Well, I choose grace. <laughs> Why? Because I'm not perfect. Listen, we sin um, and break God's commandments unconsciously sometimes, uh, which is one of the reasons why when I ask God for forgiveness, I ask him for, for the, ask him to forgive me for the things I've done knowingly and unknowingly, because there are a lot of things we do subconsciously. There are a lot of things that we think subconsciously. Right. Um, a lot of times we can we can get angry. Uh, before we even have an opportunity to calm ourselves, we're sitting in in um, a seething place of anger. Right. So thank God for grace. Thank God for his mercy. For his grace and for his mercy, right? That is what's so wonderful about God is that he knows we're not perfect. 
He created the commandments as a baseline, as a standard, right? And we always have this standard, this compass that we can measure ourselves by or our behaviors by, I should say, right? And so you have no doubt as to what, how far is too far, right? Um, Because you have this baseline. And so in knowing that, we also need to be aware that he doesn't expect us to be perfect. As a matter of fact, his word says that we go on into perfection, right? No man is perfect. We all fall short. Okay. What my goal is, is not to continue to compile um, transgression upon transgression upon transgression upon transgression, right? so funny i remember uh watching uh an episode of american dad it's an offshoot of family guy um where it was a scenario where um a man had killed his friend in the home and then uh when he got done killing his friend he looked up and he saw a guy across the street walking the dog who was looking through the window who saw him kill his friend so he ran over there and then he killed the friend and then he heard a woman scream cuz she was coming to pull put the trash out and she saw him kill the guy who was walking the dog and he ran over there and then he killed her <laughs> and it just went on and on and on and on and on and on and on right like he just compiled one transgression on top of another and and it was a joke it was funny you know um and this you know sort of weird scenario what if type scenario but we do find ourselves sometimes in a place where we can compile transgressions right we lie about something and then because that's about to be uncovered we um commit another transgression you know to to cover that lie up and there's a saying a famous saying um that people use all the time if you steal you kill Uh, if you lie you'll steal if you steal you kill is the saying right and that's not always true some people lie and they don't steal Um, Some people steal and they don't kill, right? But because no one sin is greater than the next, no one transgression is greater than the next, we all require forgiveness. We all require grace. And so tonight or today, I just thank God for his grace. I just thank God for his mercy. I thank God that he continues to keep me in my right mind, right? Because there are a lot of people who are not in their right mind and they are transgressing all over the place. They are lying, they are stealing, and they are also killing, right? Not just strangers off the street, but their own loved ones themselves. Right. We are living in perilous times. And so being uh, appreciative of God's grace is more important now than ever. Being thankful for it, continuing to ask God for forgiveness daily. It should be your a part of your waking up prayer and it should be a part of your going to bed prayer It's asking for forgiveness because we don't know when we may be put on our backs and unable to ask for forgiveness. And we don't know when or if we may not wake up. Okay. And so we ask for forgiveness. We ask, uh, we repent. And and we thank God for his grace and mercy daily. Right. Nobody's perfect. Just remember that. And there is absolutely nothing that you can do to keep God from loving you. 
Absolutely nothing. You can come to him with everything. You can come to him before you do something that you're going to regret. You see? You can come to him before and you can come to him after. What a wonderful God we serve. Now, we don't fall short on purpose. We don't do that. Because that's how you get in trouble, into some serious, serious trouble where the grace has been lifted off of your life. The mercy has been removed. And you become open fodder for, for, for the devil. And the God does and God doesn't uh inter intercede for a season. He lets you get out there and get your butt whipped for a little while. Nobody wants that. So we don't do things on purpose and say, what's the saying? It's better to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission. Not with God. Not with God. We're going to always have to ask for permission, but we don't want to be purposeful. You know, that's my goal. That's my goal. <laughs> I don't want to be out here willy nilly. Okay. All right, you guys. It's my prayer for you today that. Um, that you know, that you receive, that you're not perfect, but that you are loved. Hmm? It's my prayer for you today that you know that even though you're not perfect, you are loved and God's grace and God's mercy is for you too. It's, it's for you too, right? That includes you as well. Amen. Amen. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. And until next time, honeybees. Mwah.